mentioned how in the garden, um, Adam and Eve and how we're always looking for that perfect spouse. But even though God created Eve and God didn't make any kind of mistake with that, that relationship still they divorced themselves in the moment where they need each other the most. They didn't support each other. They and that's because of free split. will. And they had the free will to do that. Mm -hmm. So stop thinking that if God brings in the right person, it'll just be perfect, smooth sailing. No, God can fashion them literally from your body <laughs> and it can still not work because you have the free will to not be a tailor-made spouse to your spouse. That's so true. So that's what I want you to know. Look at the Adam and Eve story as cautionary tale of yes god gave me my adam god gave me my eve and you could jack it up just like they did if you mm -hmm. want to sure because can. it ain't on god to make your marriage successful if you put him in the center of this thing and make him the foundation then it'll be successful but it ain't on him to drop somebody in your lap that it's just a robot who is just going to make everything perfect for you when you see relationships this. that seem perfect like they have everything they seem so loving and then all of a sudden you hear devastating news that they're breaking up or the mm -hmm. divorce we try to think what happened something happened something was not perfect something was not um right and one thing that we recently came to grips and reality that we could fall into that at any given point if we drop the ball yeah. and I mean, it, it's just a reality. So we can't allow ourselves to just coast on the fact that, Oh, we get along right now and we're friends right now. But if we don't keep ourselves um, regulated, if we don't keep ourselves in the word, if we not constantly keeping ourselves under the microscope of God's eye, mm -hmm. then we could fall into that same category anytime.